good morning. Uh, first task on deck today, the follow-up from yesterday, is this thing's been running like crap, and I've never, I've never taken this carburetor off uh, or anything uh, whatsoever. I've never had a problem, so uh, I think that's that's going to be step one is to get this get this carburetor off the Echo and. Uh, Get that off and I'm gonna use my parts cleaner here I think for the first time to clean it up so that's gonna get used today I do believe and I have various things used to clean it and uh, we'll see how that goes so step one is clean this off and get up this carburetor so that's what I'll do alright so this back it looks like this back plating comes off and that gives me access to the screws and uh, this has got the throttle and the choke so we'll see how this goes here Looks kind of straightforward. I've never taken this one apart, so this is my uh, my virgin time with this chainsaw. All right, we'll continue on here. So it looks fairly straightforward here. We'll uh, just take these guys out and uh, see what it looks like when I get this thing out of here. This is what I wanted, people. Right on. All right, so now. So, I'm familiar with these guys. Might have been. This air filter was so bunged up, clogged up with uh, sawdust, and I noticed it was running a little rich. That uh, might have been just because that thing was so clogged up. But I had just replaced it. You know, it's like I'd replaced that not all that long ago. But I guess that doesn't uh, that doesn't mean anything if you're out using it using it mean using using the tool the screen is crystal clear Usually I see stuff in the screens, but this is looking pretty clean. It might have just been that frickin' uh, that uh, stupid ass uh, filter.
like a family tree. Part of you and part of me. And if we should separate. Hopefully none of this won't jack up this gasket. I think I have some extra ones around, but I just soon not bugger it up. So that I'd soon not to do to not to bring the funk back. back, back. back over to my cleaner I got the carburetor all tore down so I put in about uh, you know not quite half a gallon probably a liter of water put some of this got this that's out of the UK uh, ultrasonic carburetor ultrasonic cleaner solution and turn the temperature up So I'm letting the temperature come up and then I'll turn it back on and let it do some more cleaning. It's getting up there. There we go. Put it 10 minutes Celsius. So I don't know, 65 is probably like 165 degrees. So I got that rolling. I'm over checking on my Bronco. The batteries in it are shit. And I think that's all because in part man the key 
got busted off in it but the column so much stuff is falling apart on that bronco man i gotta get at it but i need to do it all in a project the column the, the steering column's jacked up the hood latch thing now in the in the cab is jacked broke the plastic housing broke so i've got the fuel leak all kinds of little stuff man i just gotta focus and put it under another project that uh effort you know anyway i hate letting stuff just go like this it eats on me man it eats and eats on me but again there's my bronco 393 stroker it's got all like gt40 heads and big uh injectors i, I converted it from uh i converted it to uh speed density and uh got big ass injectors in it man this thing cranks it's a badass 513 gears man this thing's got the bottom of this thing is uh, incredibly insane uh the trans all that's built except it's getting a little wonky down low with all the the speed and the torque and all that good stuff it kind of freaks out down low um i can first gear and all but anyway so let me check these batteries here all right let me get this i made all these cables well i didn't make the cable the wire but i made the assemblies i did Honestly, I did. See what happens here. Huh. Twelve volts. This one's not reading anything. What the hell? Is this thing that dead? battery is that dead wow that's crazy something had to get left on I think it's a I think it's a that key that column man the, the ignition switch it's all jacked up so let's do this Yeah. 
battery is zero. Let's get it charged. Actually, let me do something. Let me do something here. I'm going to vacuum some of this crap out of it. Okay, we have, I think, a clean... Not much crap in there. I'm thinking that the problem was with the air filter. But since I had this thing, since I was there and I had never touched this thing, I figured it was a good time to clean it out. So that's what I'm doing. Cleaned it up. Right on. go uh I don't want to lose that let's go clean this hose this thing off a little bit this uh, gig along here for a little bit check that out all right so uh, gonna go put up a weather station let this clean out and then I'll drain it yeah, there's a little bit of stuff in there all right all right so I got the I did get this back together my battery crapped out on me on this GoPro so I didn't uh, wasn't able to I guess I could have used my phone, but I wasn't able to get footage on it. But I did get it put back together. Actually, out of all the stuff I've taken carburetors off and had to put back on as far as pieces of, uh, you know, equipment I have, this this was kind of like the easiest. Uh, it was pretty, pretty straightforward. So happy about that. I fired it up last night and ran fine i think i think the biggest issue was the, the air filter but uh uh anyway got the used my handy dandy uh ultrasonic cleaner on the carburetor and that worked out carburetors lickety lickety split clean so i'm gonna go put it back together and give it a few rips i got hopefully i have a 20 inch uh chain sharpened up but anyway let me go give it a rip or two Yo, so I'm uh, going to finish off this uh, little video I did 
on this Echo with, I'm gonna, I was tuning it up before. These things are kind of set. The low and high on this are kind of already set. They're, I don't have much room to facilitate changes with it, but there is, there is room to facilitate a change. I didn't do anything with the high, but I think I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna reset my low, or check my low, and then uh, I might go back and try to whack a piece of wood and adjust the high on this. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm just letting it warm up. Four stroking out of it, so. Oh. Oh. All right, go. That's an end. I gotta do something. They've got these caps on these things to keep you from adjusting. Pretty dang good right there. Calling that a day. Put an end to this little project. <laughs> <laughs> 